Now, Williamson County man is making waves in the world of competitive dominoes. Earlier this month, he and his partner placed ninth out of 126 teams at the State 42 Championship in Hallettsville. Tomorrow, they're going to play another tournament in Seguin. The Florence retiree had to learn a new way to play the game called 42 a few years ago due to his disability. But as Chris Davis explains, he has developed a feel for it. Five deuce. Anybody can play. Four blank. Double five. Old, young, blind, deaf, whatever. You know? His hat is a common sight. Double blank. At this weekly 42 meetup. Mike's a very good player. <laughs> Y'all ain't winning no six to zero. Mike Harrell learned the game as a kid and got back into it a few years ago. Hey, see doocy. Since then, he's found his touch. I, I went blind in one eye when I was 16. I went uh, blind in the other eye when I was 28. Instead of looking at them, I had to learn to feel them. You can see me feeling as we're playing. Five, four. Turns out that was a problem the first time he tried to compete in the state tournament. Because they had no rules to allow for that. In the rules, it says you're not supposed to touch your dominoes unless you play them. A little prodding from a friend, he says, and they adjusted the rules. Each year since, he's placed higher, this time in the top 10. Nobody's had a problem with it whatsoever. It doesn't change anything. Trays or trump, four tray. 42 is a lot like the card game spades. Level six. There's a lot to keep track of. Five, four. Five tray, four tray. Who played what? Double four. What's left? I said, wait a minute, that don't set me. <laughs> Mike remembers it all. God gave me the ability, I guess. Yeah, he's an amazing man. So. The pride of Florence, Texas. He really, he really is. Five the Trump, five douche. His sights are set on Seguin this weekend. He'll take it one hand at a time. All I can do is play my best, and we'll just have to see what happens. Nice hand, brother. Yeah. Nice hand. Nice. Yeah, just an amazing guy. <laughs> Uh, so you heard the players announcing their dominoes there. That's not usually how you play. All of that is for Mike. And he's also allowed to ask for sort of a recap of what's been played in any given hand. But I was there watching for like two hours, mm -hmm. and I didn't hear him do that once. He keeps wow. it all in his wow. head. And just one more thing about Mike. I found this uh, fascinating. He just retired last year from the transmission shop that he owned, and he told me he was still personally working on transmissions right up until he retired. Cool. I couldn't work on one even if I could. <laughs> I have to ask you though, how, how did you find Mike in his story? Yeah, so it was actually a, a viewer. It was someone who uh, plays dominoes with uh, Mike there at the Liberty Hill Beer Market who contacted us and said, you gotta check this out. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have a story to share or if you want us to investigate something, of course, you can email us anytime at report it at kxan.com.